everyone and welcome to this flight time video. Today we're going to tie a flashback, which is a kind of a grailing bug or this kind of fly. It started out with a fly that I call the Mayfly flashback, which is or which are these ones here in the back. And they have a back out of pheasant tail and some pearl tinsel. Then I simplified these taking off the pheasant tail and making them more like a caddis pupa or caddis larva and these here are the second version and now this one will have a broader or wider back and also being tied on a much bigger hook the other ones were sizes 12 here in the vise I have a size 8 partridge Rub straight eye, and this is a great hook for tying all kinds of bugs. The bead is a four millimeter brass bead in a black color. And as usual, when I'm tying with beads, I like to secure these with a little bit of uh, lead free wire. And this one is the 0 0.020, so I'm going to make a few turns and then break it off on one side or the side closest to the bead I'm going to push in the tag and then I'm going to add just a tiny drop of super glue and then push it up inside the bead then we can break off the other end as well and I'm just going to add a little bit more of super glue really to secure this and to make for a durable fly the thread I'm using is the Vivas 140 denier and this one is quite thick thread so it doesn't take much to build up the shape of the fly and this is why I use it on this size 8. To rib the fly I'm going to use some wire, this one is the ultra wire in small and in the color chartreuse and I'm also going to use some in black, you could just use one color if you would like to but I think it makes for a neat looking fly using this double colored rib on the fly. So going to tie these in right up to the wire this way it's easier to keep the shape or the taper and then I'm going to make a few turns up and down really to build up the shape then for the backing material I'm going to use this shell back and this one is in a color called grey, I think. So I'm going to tie this in all the way down, starting from the top. And here it's a little difficult to get this right, so you have just to try to make this as neat as possible. This material is so wide that it's really difficult to tie it in without it folding on itself then we can cut off the excess and I'm just going to go up a few times more to really build up the shape that I want and now we can whip finish with this thread I'm going to change for another one. So here I'm going to take the Nano Silk from Semperfly 80 note in olive and as this is so thin it's really useful to use this other one for the underbody and then I'm using this one as it's so great to use when tying with beads as it will sink down just behind the bead and you won't even see the thread. 
And here I have this one set up on the hook bobbin, which is a bobbin with two smaller hooks here. And I'm going to show you just in a bit how to use these. So I'm going to start the thread again. I'm just taking this down a little bit. Cut off the excess. Then I'm going to take this down to where we tied in all the other materials. And here I'm zooming out just a little bit so I can try to show you. What I'm going to do for this one is, so for the body of the fly I'm going to use this custom dubbing band that I call Scud Mix. It's this grey green color with a little bit of blue highlights in it. So it will go very well with the rest of the materials. and. Here what I want to do is to put down just a little bit of dubbing. And then what I'm going to do is to do like a normal dubbing loop. So I'm going to go up again a few turns, then remember to close the loop with going over or just around the loop a few times and then I'm going to go back down and here on my way down I'm going to hook in with the two little hooks so I'm going to open up my dubbing loop and holding these with the built-in hooks we have here and then I'm going to spin the bobbin and here, as you can see, we'll have these three threads spinning together. So it will make for a much more durable body than if we do use the split thread technique that I really that I really like. But here, this way, we will have all the three strands of thread keeping this body together and also making a quite nice segmented look on the fly. So here I'm going to take this up all the way and then once you're done we can then just hook off the rest piece and then continue tying. This will bind everything down and then Cut off the excess, and there we have the body tied in. And now we're going to bring up this backing material, trying to make it as flat as possible. And then tie it off with a few quite loose turns here up, up the top. And then we're going to pass the rib through or in open spirals all the way up and here we're going to try to keep the two wires together so here I'm taking this up in quite open spirals making about five turns or so and then once we reach the bead, we can then put a 90 degree band into the wires and then just tie these off with a quite few hard turns then helicopter the wire to break them off a few more turns to tidy up and here we can also cut off the back material. So here we can see we have this nice shimmery back material all over the back and going down quite a bit on the sides. And with this nice segmented effect with the two toned wire. And now for the front part or the thorax of the fly I'm going to use exactly the same technique. I'm going to do a dubbing loop, pass over, 
couple of times, closing the loop, and then I'm going to hook this up on these little two hooks once again. And here I'm going to use another custom dubbing blend, which is a little darker. It's dark horsier with a little bit of green highlights to it. And this makes for a nice dubbing on flies you want to keep quite a green aspect but adding a little bit of darker color so to the thorax. So here I'm going to insert this between or in the loop and then I'm going to spin this one once again and here you could also use the split thread technique but doing it this way is going to make for a little bit more durable fly and doing it this way you will have a nice some nice long fibers sticking out and then a few turns just to tidy up and the last thing to do is to whip finish but before we do that I'm going to add just a little bit of glue onto the thread this way it's the easiest way to get the glue into the whip finish and then I'm going to take away just a few fibers that are a little bit too long and we can then rough out the body just a little bit, making, giving the fly a nice buggy appearance. And there we have the flashback variant. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time and happy time.